Welcome back to World Illuminator 11. If you are new to the channel, a really warm welcome to you and welcome to our weekly Divine Masculine message. A message for any Divine Masculines who watch the channel uh, or you may be a Divine Feminine checking in to see what messages are coming through for your Divine Masculine. Or maybe a Divine Masculine, you may come across this whenever you do. That's when you're meant to hear these messages. So... We are bringing in three decks, the Sacred Traveler deck and the Soul's Journey. So this is going to be messages uh, from your soul, from your higher self, and also the Archangel, um, or, uh, the Archangel Oracle cards. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the Divine Masculines? Uh, for, as we come to the end of this week, what messages are coming through? So we've got this one and this one and also this one. Okay, and then from messages from the soul, from their higher self, what messages are coming through for the divine masculines? What messages are coming through for divine masculines? So we've got this one and this one. Okay, and that one as well that really moved. So those three, and then messages from the angels what messages are coming through from the angels for the divine masculines today thank you angels so we've got this one here we'll get three as well and that one and also that one so three 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 right which is a powerful number as well of um, ascended masters around the divine masculine and message and also for the divine masculines you know a message for the divine masculines as well so we've got here crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing so this is a powerful card so divine masculine what you're being shown here today is that you are at this time of crossing bridges from the life that you've always lived you know to the life that is the life that you're truly here to live you know you're going through a time of healing and, you know, and you can see that it's like moving more into more of the green and green is that color of healing. So I feel Archangel Raphael is around you, helping you as you are going through this time of healing. You are moving away from the life that you've always lived, you know, and you're going through healing right now. And, you know, you're also starting to connect more to your true self as you're healing and releasing the past and releasing you know, pain of uh, pain and wounding, trauma, you know, working through those things is helping you to open up more to connecting with more of your true self. So you are going from the person that you were, you know, the person that you thought you were, that you society had, you know, kind of built you up to be. And you're starting to connect as you're crossing this bridge from that person. You're starting to, and going through healing, you're starting to move more into connecting more to your true self. You know, that's about having that inner connection, uh, you know, with your divine power, with divine love, with, you know, your, your true self. So you are getting more of that connection. But I also feel this is you connecting more to the creator as well. You know, because you can see it's sort of, it's it's like the moon, but it's like that light around sort of your head, your crown chakra. So that's about that connection to the divine. And then you're also mending, you know, and this can be mending things that have happened with other people. You know, you may be in this place of forgiving others, you know, uh, releasing the pain of the past, maybe things that happened in your childhood, you know, with parents, releasing things to do with past relationships, uh, releasing, you know, things that you've been holding on to, insecurities, habits that no longer serve you, you know, whatever it is that is not really going to be a part of this life that you are moving towards, you are releasing all those things, releasing the programming, you know, it's like you are in this place of going through like mending yourself, you know, mending your connection to your true self as well, mending your connection to yourself, mending, you know, things that were kind of broken because of the life that you've always lived, you know, and within yourself. This is more all about things happening within you. So there's a lot of this 
crossing bridges to the life that you're truly here to live. And, you know, you can see it's like you're holding that light there. This is about going within. This is about finding, you know, more about where you're truly meant to be, where you, what you, what lights you up inside, what it is that you are here to do when it comes to your mission, when it comes to the life that you're here to live, what it is that your heart desires, you know, when it comes to love. So you are... I feel you're finding out all these things about yourself, you know, crossing bridges, really starting to open up to a whole new world that you never knew existed in this life that you live, you know, as you're healing, as you're connecting more, as you're mending things of the past. I feel this is also about mending things with your divine feminine, you know, fixing things that happened. That's also coming in in that you know, and releasing what needs to go. So there's a lot of that that is happening and it's a powerful card to come in for you. And then the next card that has come out. So we've got here Desert Passage. Trust there is a divine plan. So Divine Masculine, you're being asked to trust that there's a divine plan when it comes to your life. You know, it's like you are on this path that you are walking, you know, to get to where you're meant to be when it comes to your life, you know, as you're doing the healing and the releasing and, you know, trust that there's a divine plan. There's a reason why you are exactly where you're meant, where you are right now. And there's a reason why you are moving forward, you know, with these changes that are happening in your life. So trust there's a divine plan. There's a divine plan of why you're being guided to start walking this path, to cross the bridges from the life that you lived to where to where you are going so trust that there is a divine plan and know that you are being guided as well as you are moving forward the next card that we have is view from above get the big picture so i feel here you're being reminded that there is a bigger picture when it comes to your life you know there's a bigger picture that is leading you to where you're meant to be you know it's all part of the divine plan so it's about you trusting this you know trust that you're being led when it comes to your path Trust that, you know, everything is guiding you to where you're meant to be. And, you know, as part of the know that there's a bigger picture that, you know, it has to do with your mission, that has to do with, you know, you moving forward into this life that you're opening up to. So it's about, you know, really starting to see things from a higher perspective. And I feel that you are starting to do that, to understand you're here for bigger reasons and, you know, to trust the divine plan and trust in the guidance that you're receiving to help you to get there. Okay, beautiful. And then the cards that have come out. So first card that we've got, we've got denial. So maybe you've been in denial. Maybe it can be about, you know, the love that you have with your divine feminine or denial when it comes to your own path. You know, the message is I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So whatever it is that you've been in denial of. This is about realizing that, you know, this is fear that puts you in that denial and acknowledging that fear, but then you replace it with the insight of awareness, you know, starting to be aware of the fact that you are here to do bigger things of the fact that you have that deeper, you can have the deeper connection with, with the divine, with yourself, you know, and you are starting to be aware now that, you know, this is the life that you've been living is not the life that is you, your life. You know, you are here to open up more to who you truly are. So, you know, you are in this place of acknowledging the fear that has been holding you back, but now you are replacing it with, with awareness, you know, with the insight of awareness. And I feel this is that sort of starting to uh, you know, to see things differently and, you know, sort of uh, going within as well, connecting more to who you truly are. And, you know, and like following the path that you're being guided. So as you're doing that, you're doing this, you're replacing the fear that has been holding you back, the fear that has been keeping you in denial, maybe of who you truly are or in denial of the love that you have, you know, and replacing that with the, with the insight of awareness, of awareness that there is a bigger picture, that you're here to do bigger things, that, you know, you have that love for your divine feminine, you know, that you are here to walk your true path and work on your mission. So there is this awareness that is opening up for you, which is really beautiful. And then we also 
also have acceptance. I am learning to accept things that I cannot change. So you're also learning to, you're opening up to acceptance. You know, and this is acceptance of yourself as you are with the things that have happened in the past, you know, forgiving yourself as well. I feel you're working on forgiving yourself so that you can get into that place of you know, that true acceptance of the self, but you're also learning to accept things that you cannot change because you're understanding that there is a divine plan. So maybe certain changes are happening in your life and it may be difficult to, to face those, uh, those changes, you know, because it's scary. It's walking into new territory, but you know, you are starting to accept the things that you cannot change to understand that it's all part of that bigger picture. So really beautiful. And then we also have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So, you know, this is about listening more to yourself, listening to the guidance that is coming in for you because you are being guided on your path. You know, you're being guided as you're walking this path that you're on now. So it's about trusting yourself, trusting in those messages that are coming through from within, that they are going to help you to get to where you are truly wanting or desiring to be. So trust, this is about listening to your inner guidance, you know, trusting in the messages coming through from your angels, from your spirit guides, from your intuition as well. I feel you're opening up to connecting more to your intuition and to trusting in those messages that come through from within to help you to get to where you're meant to be. So really beautiful messages coming through. And, you know, these are messages also coming through from your soul, from your higher self to replace that, uh, you know, fear that you've been having. Replace it with the insight of awareness. Be in acceptance of the things that you cannot change. You know, be in acceptance of yourself and trust in yourself. So there's, there are messages that are actually coming in from within to trust in your own inner guidance. Trust the path that you are being, you know, that you're being guided to walk as well. So really beautiful. And then the cards that have come out from the angels. So the angels that are with you. So we've got, first of all, Archangel Jophiel. And Archangel Jophiel is saying, act with wisdom. Use information for the highest good. So Archangel Jophiel is helping you as well, you know, to to trust in the wisdom that you have. You know, the messages that are coming through from within and then act with wisdom. As you're moving forward on your path to act with wisdom and to use the information that you're being given by your angels, the information that comes into your awareness in your day-to-day -day life, you know, the things that you're opening up to, you know, to really sort of use that for the highest good of all. So really beautiful messages. And then we also have here, uh, we've got Seraphim Seraphisa, Seraphim Seraphisa, and the message is, Relax and open up to source. Keep your heart open. So another beautiful message, you know, you're being asked to relax, you know, accept the things that you cannot change, relax into everything that is happening in your life and, you know, and really open up to source. This is about opening up to the creator, to the divine as you're walking your path, you know, to really sort of start to open up to that connection, to strengthen that connection as well, because this is where you have your power. So you're being asked to open up to source. So as you walk your path, you know, that's where you get your guidance. That's where you're being shown where you're truly meant to be. And the path to walk, so open up to source. Work with the creator, the universe, you know, whatever name you prefer to use with God, you know, when it comes to all areas of your life, this is where you will find the abundance. This is where you'll find the life that you are desiring, the love that you are desiring. You know, everything opens up for you when you open up to source. So really beautiful and keep your heart open. This is about being open when it comes to love. You know, be open to receive the love that's coming in for you from source, from your angels. Be open to give love. Be open to receive love. You know, when it comes to the love that is meant for you with your divine feminine, the message is to keep your heart open. And the last message coming through for you is from Archangel Gabriel. And Archangel Gabriel is saying to you, Shima with, uh, Shima with diamond light, express your creativity. So this is also really beautiful. Archangel Gabriel is also helping you to open up to your creativity. 
You know, this can be things that you're working on, maybe to do with your job, things to, maybe you're starting to open up to create something that you've never done before. Maybe something that you used to love doing when you were a child, you're being asked to express your creativity. It can be in the things that you're doing. It can be in yourself, you know, in working on your mission, whatever it is. I feel that this is something that you're opening up to as well now as you're crossing bridges to the life that you're truly here to live. So express your creativity and, you know, connect to that inner power that you have within because there's so much within you that is ready to come out and wanting to come out. So trust in your own inner guidance and work on the things that you feel that light you up inside. So those are the messages coming through for you, Divine Masculine. I hope you have a great day. Sending you so much love.